This week's one tank trip blasts off to an atmosphere perfect for all ages, from preschoolers to grandparents. Meteorologist John Dawson says the whole family can orbit around Space Center Houston. I think Space Center Houston is a great place for uh, families to have a day trip because we are family oriented. We're the official visitor center for NASA. So when you visit Space Center Houston and purchase your ticket, it's an all-inclusive ticket. And what your ticket covers is all of the films here, the demonstrations we have, and then most importantly, the, the tram tour. We have one of the largest collections of space artifacts in the country the only Smithsonian affiliate in Houston. Uh, so we have lots of things to uh, see here. We also have a lot of things to do. You can uh, drive rovers, you can touch a piece of the moon, touch a piece of Mars. In July, every Wednesday, we have Train Like an Astronaut Wednesday, and there's lots of fun, family-friendly activities for the whole family. This is the largest public display of moon rocks in the whole world, and what's really cool is you also have the opportunity to actually touch a moon rock Right here, we're in the Starship Gallery. Make sure you find your way back. And after you touch the moon rock, you can walk right around the corner and you can see the actual vehicle that brought it back to Earth. When you start getting hungry, you do have some eating options, but I encourage you to go just down the road for the best burgers in Houston. Cookies has been around since 1975. Great family atmosphere. We'd love to take care of you. Come by, try a burger. Feed the barbecue burger. It's one of our number one sellers, along with our new buffalo chicken sandwich. And um, this is the classic bean burger. It has refried beans, Fritos, paste, and cheddar. We do have our classic onion rings, our Mama Ethel's onion rings. And we do have the new skinny onion rings. We have the train room that runs around the um, top of the ceiling. And um, it's favorite amongst the kids. And um, actually, a lot of the adults who <laughs> are close to sitting here, too. After lunch, don't forget a tram tour. It's your best look at what's happening at NASA right now. You'll see training facilities, mission control, and Rocket Park. If you want to see the Saturn V rocket, which is the largest rocket ever built, it's one of several stops on each of the tram tours. So on your way back, all the trams will stop at the Saturn V building and you'll have a chance to get off the tram and spend lots of time to walk around the rocket and check it out. We're a, a great destination for the day to, to come down for our kids, for, uh, as well as the older brother and sister, parents, grandparents. Uh, we have something for everybody here. Well, now the first thing you're going to see when you pull up is the Independence and the shuttle carrier aircraft. Unfortunately, this exhibit not finished yet, still under construction, but the good news is it should be done by the end of the year, so that might just be the excuse you need to come back a little bit later. With our one tank trip this week, I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Very cool. Thanks, J.D.